Hi everyone, I hope you're all. This is Coins Kid. Just going to dive into Bitcoin, big little Coins Kid crew. So it's my opinion, and you know, from this high just here, and I've gone through this with you before. We're basically putting in a regular correction from this high. The confluence is not just you know with Bitcoin; it's other charts as well. The likes of B Chain, Chain Link, um, you know, XRP, um, a lot of projects like that. You know, Chili's. Those sort of projects have put in a whopping ABC zigzag correction, in my opinion. Quant. You know, a lot of those projects right now. You know, and they're basically. Some of those projects are actually confirming that your lows in, but obviously we need to see the follow through. And you know, Bitcoin, in my opinion, and other coins are a bit of a laggard to that, you know, because they usually are. You know, the old coins do front run, you're fully aware, okay, because that's where a lot of the liquidity goes to. But anyway, it is my opinion that possibly right now the low is in, uh, and we've actually come down in these five ways. I'll show you exactly a scenario I'm looking at, but it is equally the possibility that the low is not in. You know, I've not got a crystal ball, but right now I think that. Potentially, you know, we are seeing a lot of confidence build up in the charts that this was an A, this was a B, uh, and this was a C, like that, okay? And it's potentially done, right? Of an irregular correction. And in, in here, like I said to you, we've got five waves. We've got the one, we've got the two, the big three, like that, the four retracement, and then the five drop, okay? Which was anticipating this correction coming in last year. Do you remember? I said to you, wave four correction is going to kick in here, and boom, we come down. So I still think that this has been a massive wave one. This has been a wave two. ABC zigzag. This has been a wave three, and right now this is your regular wave four correction, which is coming back to this wave one high. And like I said to you, it can't lose that wave one high. This is something I've been saying as you've been coming down there, potentially retracing to it, but you can't lose it. Okay. And if you if you are in this projected bear market where everyone's calling for the 10k, 12k, things like that, then you're going to lose that high, and you're invalidating this Elliott wave count that I'm looking at, where you've got this final fifth wave of this bull market. Okay, that you've got a blow off top here into 2023 and beyond okay so in my opinion everything it's doing so far is gearing up for that and the confluence is in other charts not just bitcoin uh for example check out the xrp you know i think the xrp's had a mid-cycle correction something it did in the previous cycle and it's looking for that ramp up now and it is trying to carve it out isn't it you know v chain chain link projects like that you know v, uh, chilies a lot of projects are putting an abc zigzag at this point where you know they came down made the low high in September and they dropped basically coming back down to the wave one high basically you know I can find that I can see it in the charts you know I've shown you in previous updates so it's building up the confluence is building up that this is a low but what we're looking for is the end of this C leg okay so right here at this point there were seven data points that told us that the low was in just like it did down there and equally just like it did down here okay do you see this but what we've not done here for Bitcoin is have the usual 85% drawdown from this top or that top we've not had that 85 percent drawdown so you know this is why everyone thinks we're in this big bear market where we're going to do something like this and we've got this 85 percent drawdown to this you know 10k 12k whatever sub 10k where we're going to come down completely okay obviously anything can happen but at the moment we're doing everything we need to for this particular scenario to play out that i've been talking about for a very long time where in actual fact we've got this sort of big big cycle correction that we're actually in you know that started here and not necessarily here where the macro environment kicked in you know and everyone was really bearish about the macro environment interest rates and things like oh no it's going to zero things like that bitcoin began its correction prior to all that news and fud and things like that and you know the, the herd mentality that it was coming in for that whopping bear at that point you know it's actually been correcting before that and like i said to you bitcoin is kind of in its own sort of cycle it ignores this that and the other it does what it ha the hell it wants to i've always told you this okay so you know price action over everything at the minute there's a lot of confidence building up that the low is in, obviously, at this low here. But there is equally the chance it's not, and we're going to roll and come down. And like I said to you, for any short-term bullish momentum for me would have to be this wave one high, okay, just there that we put in in June 2019. If we lose that, like I said to you, that this count goes out the window, and it means that Bitcoin could actually be in a world of trouble, in my opinion, because you could actually be in this larger sea leg, which is just coming down, coming down like this, okay. And if it does lose that, then obviously it is a big bear market. This was your top. This counts out the window. The confluence of the ABC coming in here for Bitcoin. Uh, uh, for crypto projects at this point as well is out the window so you know at the minute there is confluence here and that's always find confluence in all your charts not just one chart find other charts that point to confluence we've got potentially the dxy coming up and breaking its parabola okay which is something i've said to you keep an eye on if it starts to take that out you're confirming that wherever the bottom is that you're coming up from you know from bitcoin or your crypto projects it's confirming that low as well so that's something we definitely need to keep an eye on you know so i've not got a crystal ball but right here we could say okay well we, what we've got we're looking for these five waves of this sea leg because in my opinion this is what we're in right now this sea leg you see this because we've got this high we've got the high high on uh you know lower volume and bearish divergence as well which i've shown you multiple times in 
the charts and right now we're in this kind of sea leg coming back so i'm trying to find the lower the sea leg the absolute lowest it can go for any kind of short-term bullish impulse is there okay fairly enough it breaks that boom 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 you're coming down your minimal target is going to be 10k 85 percent drawdown of a bear market do you understand so you know i think that what you've got is a final fifth wave missing of this larger uh, impulsive wave which we're in which experienced a wave one wave two correction wave three wave four correction coming back with a blow off top wave five the confluence is the mid cycle correction i'm looking at xrp which is you know happened in last cycle as well so i don't necessarily think your cycle's done here and this is something i've been talking about for a very long time people take the mic all saying corrective phase of a bull market and things like that but essentially it actually is isn't it you know if this low holds and you don't necessarily have your big big 85 percent drawdown then you could conclude okay well it was just a one big whopping corrective phase of a final sort of fifth wave there for bitcoin and you know the altcoins where they go vertical because in my opinion this is exactly where the altcoins and bitcoin should have gone vertical so i'm not seeing that yet so i think that potentially this is the verticalness is coming okay uh, for the altcoins and crypto but again i've not got a crystal ball okay so anyway what we're looking for is this ending c wave where we've got five waves so the possibility is here let me show you that right here we've got a one this is a two this is a three wave four correction and then wave five and it's done that's a possibility right now you've got five waves of sea leg that's completed okay which is what you see in the sea leg look at this okay so you've got your five waves one two three four five you can see in this instance here this third wave just ran shy of that a wave you can see look at that just ran shy of it do you see that so just come down just above it basically so that is a bit of confluence just there that that particular correction's in and right now this wave four didn't we trace any, any higher than this wave one look at that that's exactly where it found resistance and right now you boom you've had your capitulation you're ending wave of wave five and right now this is a wave one this is a wave two correction coming back to this one okay hold it in a high low start to coil up here you're looking at a third impulsive break then this wave here this would be coinciding with a wave three because just here this wave three would be the most powerful and that is the one that would get everyone absolutely bullish because what you would be doing here you're breaking through these emas breaking this resistance and breaking this channel and like everybody starts to see that they're going to start piling into bitcoin and it's going to break out basically confirming that this was a one this was two this is a three four five and you're up here like that now where do i think bitcoin will go i've given you my targets before i think it's around about 92k at a bare minimal i'll show you why because from this low to this high this high here i think is your high okay i think that your next minimal target is around about ninety two thousand three hundred dollars just there so that's my minimal target for bitcoin okay going forward if this is your low if it's not and we do come down we have to hold this wave one high and this is a story i'm trying to tell i've been trying to tell it for a very long time good luck everybody i wish everybody in the world the utmost luck okay thank you for support thank you for tuning in and thank you for liking the videos take care bye bye